searched everywhere. I looked through hundreds of files, searched through my text messages, I even looked everywhere in my wardrobe, but I just couldn't find where I asked for your opinion. Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Dear Kadria Sophia, where I scour the internet and look for situations where I can offer my unsolicited opinion and advice. This episode of Dear Kadria Sophia, I'm getting from this website, Dig, D-I-G-G. Uh, I, I googled food advice columns. Because the Cooking Olympics are coming up the fourth, set, the fourth Thursday of every November, every year here in the Americas. Actually, I think just North America. Actually, I think just United States of America. Yeah, because the Canadians' Thanksgiving is at a totally different time. And I don't know if South America and Central America celebrate... That, one sound, that doesn't sound reasonable. It doesn't sound reasonable that uh, it's celebrated here. So... <laughs> It's, it's afar, it's, 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 it makes even less sense. So in honor of the cooking Olympics, okay, uh, I'm looking for food, hopefully, uh, as close as I can get to autumn kinds of foods, you know, holiday type situations, right? This is the first one I found. Dear Kadria Sophia, should I tell my son's friends, parents, my son's friends, parents, I'm upset they served my son Indian food. Okay. So my son has a friend. His friends have parents, naturally. And uh, if there's no allergy involved. <laughs> I think we talked about this before. That uh, I'm not sure if the host owes you culturally specific Cuisine. I'm going to put it like that. We talked about this before with the Taiwanese situation. So we, we're going to see. This might be the same situation. Just a different cuisine. My son, Chris, is nine. Nine. Okay. A few weeks ago, we decided to open our bubble to include the family of Neil. Open the bubble, huh? One thing I learned about opening clothes and bubbles, boy. <laughs> Once you start opening clothes and bubbles, that hinge just swings so so freely for the opening and the closing. To include the family of Neil. Neil is Chris's best friend. Neil is also Chris and Neil. Okay. Both of Neil's parents are doctors. So this seemed like a safe decision. My God. This is dripping with something. This is dripping with something. And I don't, I, I mean, I know what it is, but it's dripping, boys. It's, it's dripping. It's just strong. The, the drip is strong in this one already. We ain't even got nowhere. All right. Both parents were born and raised in India. Of course. Of course. Of course this is where this is going. We let Chris have dinner at their place the other night since both boys were having a great time together. When we came to pick up Chris, Neil's mom recounted to me how much chicken and curry and lentils and vegetables Chris ate. But I... I but, I know she was. I know she was recounting to let you know that she, she had fed your baby. She was letting you know. Oh, he had plenty of chicken. Plenty of plenty of vegetables. She wants you to know she got you, boo. Your son's going to eat well over here. Over here. Your son will be fed. <clears throat> I couldn't believe that they served my son spicy curries without even calling to ask us if that would be okay. Is that a thing that people have a know of? Like, is that a stance that people take? <laughs> that their child doesn't eat spicy curries? <laughs> is, that, is that a dietary restriction? 
Does the nine-year-old not know that he doesn't eat spice to curries? Should he did if he had forewarned her? You know, if they if he was like if Chris told Neil's parents, I'm not allowed to eat spicy curries. And they gave that boy spicy curries anyway. You've got a case. You've got a case. You got a strong case. Okay? I just, I didn't even know this was a thing. Without even calling us to ask us if that would be okay. Is it okay? I was taken aback. And gently, I gently mentioned that spicy foods can be hard on small tummies. But it didn't seem to register. You're telling a woman who is currently feeding her same age child spicy curries. Thankfully, Chris didn't get sick. Did Chris, thank, thank. <laughs> it's dripping. It's dripping. My wife says, my wife. This better be a same sex couple, people. This better be a same sex mother loving couple. This better not be a man talking to Neil's parents about spicy curry restrictions. Maybe, maybe you all can't handle the spicy curries. Maybe Chris's little tummy, like Neil's little tummy, like Jamaican kids' little tummies, right? Like Japanese kids' little tummies, like Korean kids' little tummies. Like, it, the, it is literally outrageous how... I guess this is driven with closed-mindedness. I guess that's what it is. Because... For people who use spicy curries, <laughs> you know, you have the Africans, you have the Indians, you have the very many of the Asians, very many of the Asians, and you have the Caribbeans. I, I mean, I don't even know, other than Blaine Land, <laughs> other than the Blaine Lands, <laughs> where, where curries are not running amok. I'm done with this. This, 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 this. I'm done with this absolutely mandatory same-sex couple since it's the wife. My wife says to drop it because any conversation will look racial in nature. We found the drip, people. We found the drip. And to only let the boys play at our place. <laughs> Please help. Please help you what? <laughs> Please help you what? What are you asking? Help with not being a racist? Because that's what your wife is saying. If you're saying, your wife is saying, and, and this, is, this is where white silence matters in the home. Because what your wife is saying is that if you say something about it, it will look it will look racial, which is really telling you that you're a racist. Because it's something you might say out loud. <laughs> May come across. And if you can only say it to, the, to your white wife <laughs> or the wife that loves you and is delusional, right? If you can only say it to her without it sounding racial. <laughs> if there's a very specific audience, you can say that in front of without it sounding racial. That's, you know, that's why things sound racial. They're, those are the indicators of the racism behind it. Um, I don't know what to tell you, sir. I, I, mean, I, don't, I mean, I don't know that the... I don't know that the Indian mom trusts her son over at your home. That's an assumption on your part that I won't be making, okay? So to assume that they can only play at your place. And what, here's my favorite and most fun thing. Let's go back up. 
thankfully, Chris didn't get sick. I think what they meant to say is, surprisingly, I think they meant to say, um, you know, flukely, because it seems like they believe that this is a one-time occurrence where the Indian mother will not, you know, poison their child. They seem to believe that this is a one-time occurrence. So it seems like they're saying this was the one Hail Mary we got with the Indian food. And if he goes over there again, it's just going to be um, gastro explosions all over the place. You know, just death by colon explosion from from Indian spicy curries. Spicy curries are going to cause spontaneous death. I don't, I don't know what you please help you <laughs> realize that it's more than likely that the Indian mom mellowed everything the fuck out with those dishes. It's more than likely that your son was over there eating uh, mild curries. <laughs> it's, very, it's very reasonable that any person who cooks curry would uh, like ask the child, "Do you have you had a Taiwanese food? Have you had Korean kimchi? Have you had this type of food before?" If Chris at nine years old says no, then it is, it's, it's almost rest assured that they did not feed that baby anywhere near the level of spice they normally eat. So that's, that's called consideration in almost every culture. Uh, and you would do well to lean into the consideration that your son was shown. <laughs> that's how I can help you. Okay, lean into the consideration that they fed your baby that they, he was welcome to the home, that they, he was my, they were mindful. They were mindful of his little tummy. It wasn't like accidentally he didn't get sick. I'm pretty sure Neil's mom was very much prioritizing <laughs> the literal health and well-being of Chris. So it seemed like you're, you, you may want to go over and eat. You may want to get over there. <laughs> So you, what you should do, either uh, lesbian wife of the wife, or even more outrageous, what you can do, Dad, <laughs> is you can get yourself invited on over there, and you can talk to Neil's mom about whatever trauma you had with Indian food, and I'm pretty sure that she will. Be happy to make you some Indian food that does not land you in the emergency room. Because that's what it sounds like, the trauma you're having with Indian food. Like you had some, I don't know, Indian food from the 7-Eleven and it just, you know, shot you to shit and you just can't recover. Like, I don't know what other reason you could be having with nothing actually went wrong. Uh, your child has a new friend. Your child is welcome at the news friend's house. Um, and, and, you know, your child played safely and was taken care of and literally, like, loved up on. I'm sure if you ask them about the conversation over dinner, Chris will recount to you, you know, the memorable, you know, questions and conversation points that he enjoyed with Neil and his family. So before you go ahead and assume that Neil's mom wants uh, Neil dining at Casa de la Blonde and Panic Attack City and uh, in Closed-Minded Cave with on the cul-de-sac, <laughs> you may want to reconsider. You may want to reconsider your overreaction. All right? That's how I can help you. Go to a support group for people who don't know that they're racist, but somebody called them a racist. So they now have to start their journey on figuring out how they're racist. That's my support to you. That's my help to you, sir. Okay? Bring your wife. Bring your wife. Get her on in there. All right? Much success to us all. <laughs>